we are developing the educational robot for kids. Mm -hmm. We'd like to, with our solution, we'd like to help kids learn foreign languages. So the robot that we are working on is the emotional talking head mm -hmm. that kids can play together like a native pal, native yeah. English pal. So I was wondering if you could tell me basically about your your founding team and why why were they interested in kind of like developing a robot for kids, especially a language teaching robot. <laughs> okay, so uh, generally we are uh, developing social robots so many years, like almost ten years, because we well, we are working at the university in Poland and we were developed so many social robots. So after those time, we get enough know-how and uh, finally we decide that, okay, let's commercialize this. We are ready, so we have enough, enough knowledge about it. So we decided to build a um, robot that will be affordable for uh, uh, consumers, the regular consumers. So we developed the social robot for kids and because we noticed that kids, currently kids spend too much time on their tablets, on their smartphones, yeah. Uh, that they took from parents and actually it's not good for them. There are a lot of research uh, about it, how it's uh, bad for kids. It's their kids, you know, cannot, uh, they don't have developed uh, well their speech and they cannot recognize human emotions also. So there's a lot, a lot of things about it. So we decided, okay, so let's use the current technology and apply to, uh, apply to this application to give kids a new technology, but in the proper way. Uh, what age range is MS targeted to? Three to seven, because the, at this age you can develop a very attractive games for kids, but above this age you have to provide much more than just the games for kids. But actually this uh, age is the most important for kids, because the kids have developed their first language, so yeah. it's the best time also to develop the, the, the first foreign language. Yeah, what are the uh, main markets that you're targeting right now? Europe and China, Europe but and China. just totally different. Like the, we have another sales and marketing team in, 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 in Europe that is focusing on this and here we, we are using totally different resources to, to get to know this market because this market is totally different and requires absolutely different skills. Mm, yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, is there, are there differences in the way people, inter kids interact with MS in each area? Uh, the, the, the biggest difference is that kids here, they don't have time. They have a lot of uh, additional classes after school, after kindergartens. So like uh, kids in that age, in Europe, they mostly playing. Mm -hmm. And here they working very hard. I mean, they have extra uh, English classes, extra math classes and so on and so on. So that's the, the main difference. And also the, uh, the parents, how they approach this, yeah. uh, like for the, for, 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 parents here in China, the education is something very important for their yeah. kids and they, they focus on it and they spend much more money for this. Mm -hmm. So it's of course a chance for us, but also uh, a great challenge because it's not easy to be visible on the market yeah. being just a startup. What hopes and dreams do you have for the company? Oh, huh. it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. It, it, it's a startup. It's changing everything yeah. every few months. I, I, I don't even remember how many times we change our business plan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but generally we'd like to provide the, the finally the working social robot because there were a lot of them um, on the market and still there are a lot of them, especially yeah. here in Shenzhen. Yeah. You can go to the market and see there are a lot of this kind of uh, products. But the most difficult thing for, for, the, for the creators is how to make it to be usable its first time, yeah. the first thing, and also the robot must be efficient. Okay. So it cannot be yeah. just the, another assistant, because we yeah. don't need, we, for the assistants, we prefer people. The robots should yeah. be in that places where we cannot uh, get people. Like here in China, there is a leak of uh, good uh, native English teachers. Yes. So the robot can be really, really useful here. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, yeah, so is, was, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, just keep your fingers crossed and okay, yeah. say good luck for us. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank you.